bit of years ago, I met a maintenance technician that he didn't carry many tools. He carried a bucket of tools and he didn't carry, you know, he just, he did turns and he did a few work orders and he didn't really carry that many tools. And we, we got to talking and he told me, you know, one of your problems is that you carry way too many tools. He said, you're just carrying a lot of tools with you, uh, you know, all the time. And that's just slowing you down. You got too many tools. And he's, he had a bucket, he had a channel locks and, you know, some 10 and one screwdrivers and a few stuff like that. And he said, this is all I need. This, this gets the job done. And this is all I carry. And, you know, I got to thinking and I thought, well, that, yeah, he may be right because it seemed like a, when somebody tells you that, it seemed like a good idea, especially if you've been, been a maintenance tech for many, many years. But as we got to talking, you know, as time went, went on and we kept on talking, he told me one day, you know, you've been here with this complex for, you know, it was just a few months and you've already, you're doing a whole bunch of overtime. And in the 10 years that I've been here, I've probably done three hours of overtime in 10 years. They just wouldn't give me more time. What happens is there's maintenance techs like this bag that I that I was showing here, the Vito pack, my backpack. This carry basic tools. I just carry basic tools to do work orders that 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 a maintenance technician I believe should carry. You know, the, these are the regular tools. Now, in this next bag, I'm gonna I'm gonna show some of the tools that make a regular technician a better technician. Uh, for example, I carry an amp probe here, just checking wet bulb and stuff like that for air conditioners. I carry uh, a carbon monoxide detector, uh, you know, stuff stuff that most maintenance guys would not carry. I carry in this special bag. It's also a Vito. And I'm not talking about the bag in this case. I want to talk about an amp probe, a camera. And, you know, in, the, in, in, this, in this specialty bag, like I said, to me, carrying this bag is what separates regular maintenance guys from maintenance guys that go above and beyond but also start making the the real money and this is not just for maintenance guys this this is for any trade uh i carry in this bag things like i have the this tracker for uh finding uh uh elect electrical uh, circuits i carry for example i carry in this bag i carry the uh let's see what i what do i have in here this this is actually to adjust gas valves water column on, on gas valves these are the kind of tools that i that i believe make uh, an average maintenance guy a good good above average maintenance guy that's gonna make the money i have a uh animator here for checking uh wind speeds and stuff like that and this is a real important tools these are not tools like i say that everybody's gonna carry but these are tools that are gonna make a big difference when it comes to i have my subco um this is for testing uh compressors see if the uh, if it's, it's it's getting ready to go out short it's gonna short pretty soon i mean i can i can test the uh, uh insulation and the and the wires inside it and then i have uh this is also going to be a subco this is a this is for testing ecm orders now the they, they have regular 240 volt but then at the same time they have a a low voltage that turns them on and off so so this is a specialty tool this is not a tool that most maintenance guys would carry unless it's somebody that wants to specialize in in you know doing things a little bit better or going the extra mile and this is what really ends up making the money this is what i believe uh will will make a regular guy a much better guy the tools will always help for sure for sure now in this bag this is something really special that i that i received and i'll be up front with you guys this is something that this company sent me to review but when I got it and when I started looking at it, this this specialty tool goes in this bag, in this specialty bag. This is an endoscope. This is just a camera that's on a wire that you can stick into places where you could pos know there's possibility you could ever see, you could ever stick a phone or any other type of camera. This is something that's around $100, not very expensive, but it will sure make a difference. It'll make you, for sure, it'll make you more valuable. This is this is something that's really, really honestly a specialty tool. This is a tool that I've never had, but now I do. An endoscope is really something that is a camera that's on a wire that can go underwater, that can record, that can take some pictures. So that's what this is. This is a uh, endoscope, which is a camera that's got its own monitor. It, it's really, really nice. This is something that I would always... Uh, an investment like this, and I'm going to call it an investment. It's not just buying a tool. It's an investment because many people sometimes they ask me, you know, I have a few hundred dollars. What can I invest in? What what, what What's a good uh, place where I could put my money and get some return? And I always say invest in knowledge or tools, specialty tools, something that'll that'll 
make you more valuable that'll that'll you can charge more for your work even though real money is not made you know hourly but it does help when you're starting because the more money you're making hourly the 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 faster you can start building up some kind of an investment because the more valuable you are with when you have tools like this so let's what what this is 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 like i said it's it's it comes in this box it comes in this box so it's it's just really just a box and then it, it comes with a case it comes in this case which is nice to have because you know you don't want to it's got a screen so you want to protect it so it comes in this really nice nice case that we'll go into it a little bit more and of course the camera is in this bag i i put the camera in the bag that that i'm going to be using it the, the specialty bag the bag that i that i believe uh makes me a little more valuable or or that i can get more done because i have these these kind of tools now as far as the uh the tool itself the endoscope or the camera it's it's really 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 easy to use i've, I've been messing with it a little bit i, I did uh do a little little repair or actually it wasn't a repair i was just looking at uh behind a wall so i'll i'll, I'll put a little bit of, uh, of that video right now so this basically just connects in here this is a usb type connection just connects in here you gotta be real careful because you gotta connect it all the way till it clicks and then it's got a power button okay this is a rechargeable uh uh tool so it, it comes with a, a cable a recharge rechargeable cable it comes with a it's a 4.5 inch screen it's waterproof of course so you can use it in plumbing underwater stuff like that clogged uh, sink sewer lines stuff like that you can find it's got a semi-rigid cable which means it's flexible it's got a lithium battery which means it's rechargeable and it's it's really a nice nice tool now as far as the the wire the cable it's 16 foot long so it's, it's really long you can reach really really far and now the camera is real real basic of course now i'm, I'm looking at myself here on the camera as you can see it looks better because it looks better here on the screen now it's, it, it's picking up too much light on, on on your end over there but basically that's you get a better angle there because that's away from the light so it it, it it's a good enough image i mean you'll, you'll be able to tell it's got three cameras so you can flip the camera press this button now it's a side camera now i would be on this side as you can see and it's got the other side which is right there i look upside down on this side but that's fine now this thing is really interesting because you can you can adjust the lights the light setting dim it down or turn it off that that's that's really nice you may not always need a lot of light what you're looking at and you can also record so this you press a button here and you, you can start recording so right there it's it'd be recording i don't know okay you guys can see the little red up here so right there would be recording and this is a good and it can also take a picture it's got a memory card so you can you can take the picture or the recording and uh, put it on your estimate put it on your on your bill uh show it to the landlord to the to the tenant whoever needs to see these pictures the manager anybody that 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 needs to see the repair after it's done or doesn't believe you changed something and this has happened a few times. I'll tell you something that, that I've noticed a few times that, that this tool, and honestly, I had never owned a tool like this. So so I'm honest. I had never owned a tool like this. Now, as soon as I got it, I knew what bag I was going into because this is really, really a, uh, a specialty tool, what I consider consider a specialty tool. And many times, and I, I, I've seen this before, where people will say, well, there's a leak behind a wall, and they start knocking out walls, and it turns out there was no leak. And that's really, really embarrassing. And that's happened to a lot of people. And it's happened to me where I believe there's a leak. I, I hear it. I know it's there or I think it's there. I tear down the wall. And it turns out it's, it wasn't there. So I ended up doing a whole bunch of holes where I could just made a little hole, suck this thing, found a, found the, uh, the, the water line or the electric or whatever it was and, and would have been able to verify what I was thinking was going on behind the wall was, was happening or not happening. Now, this tool is good for somebody that's a maintenance technician for sure homeowners for sure it's real good for you you, you can be, before you get an estimate you can know a lot of information of what's behind your walls or what's what's under your you know and your plumbing or stuff like that with something like this so this is real good for homeowners handyman and of course all the tradesmen most of you guys you guys already know about these tools you guys a lot of you guys own them 
I know there's one that, that you can just hook up to your phone, but honestly, in my case, I don't like anybody looking at my phone or anybody saying, hey, let me see that. I got I to gotta see. This is a tool that's dedicated for that. When I'm doing plumbing and we're, our hands are all dirty, nobody's going to touch my phone. I don't want to touch my phone. So this is a tool that I could, that it's not as expensive as a phone, of course. So if something happens to it, which, which shouldn't because it's waterproof, but uh, you know, it, it, it's not going to be a, a thousand dollar phone that, that got messed up. Now, let me go over a little bit of what's, what comes in this case, which is really, really interesting. And I really liked it because there's, there's a few things that they thought about that I would have never thought about, you know, with, with something like this. Now, let me zoom in a little bit. So what happens is, of course, this is a tip. It's got a bezel on it. It's got a bezel that protects the lens. I'm sure that's what it's for, to protect the lens when it's going into, uh, I don't know, nasty places or, or dirty places and stuff like that. But in this little thing that comes with it, there's a few things that come with it. This, I believe, is to reset it because it does have a reset button and it's, it's that kind of a tip. So I believe that's just to reset. I couldn't find any information on that. But I did find some, find out what these are for. Now it's got an extra bezel that goes in the tip. So you wanna, of course you don't wanna lose these bezels, but, but if you do, you got at least an extra one. Now this one's really, really interesting because this is a magnet and it's a great idea. I thought it was a great idea because if you got your side cameras on and you're looking for something down, down in an engine compartment or uh, something fell down there's no possibility you can even see where it's at i mean you can turn this thing on it's got light it's got a camera you'll find whatever's down in there and you can actually pull it out because it's got a magnet and and it's it's you know this is a i carry a pretty big keychain i'm a maintenance guy so i got a whole bunch of keys now this magnet is really cool because i mean even, even a, a set of keys like this this magnet will pick it up no problem so I thought this was really, really a good idea to have a this this um, adapter to it. I think it's a great idea. I think it's something that's going to get a lot of use. I mean, if you drop something where it's really hard to even see if it's even there, there's no possibility you're going to dig it out with, with, you know, needle nose or a wire because you can't even see. Now, this is a camera with a magnet, which is a great, great idea. Now, the other thing that comes with it, and I really loved it, is this hook which I think also is a really amazing idea because, well, we've all seen it where there's a there's a wire, a low voltage wire or some kind of a different type of wire that you're trying to pull out of a system or, or somewhere. You, this thing, you can turn the camera on, you can find a wire and you can actually pull it towards you. I'm pulling a wire here, so. I mean, you can find a wire that's deep down in there and you'll see it and you'll be able to pull it right towards you and i think this is a, an amazing amazing idea of something that you know these 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 tips that they that, that they added with this with this uh uh camera now like i said before i've never done a, a a review of some something that anybody gave me all the tool reviews i've ever done is stuff that i have bought this was sent to me and and they try and there's many companies try and send youtubers a lot of things and I don't, I don't even look at the emails because it's things that are not related to what I do or, 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 or the jobs that, that I'm doing or for my videos. So I don't, I don't include any of that. I don't, I don't even look at that. I don't, I don't, I don't get into that. When they send me this thing, this goes perfect with, with, with what I do with, with maintenance work, uh, HVAC work, maintenance work, stuff like that. This goes perfect. So, so I, 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 I jumped at it. I really liked it. They sent it to me. They're, they're not paying me, but they did give me the tool. So, so. I'm going to include a, a link to this tool and I'm going to include a little video of me looking at some plumbing behind behind a, a, a shower so you get an idea of what this tool can do. 